Hmm. Let's dive into this and see what we can make of it. So the process is we're gonna to go to a random word generator. This random word generator is gonna give me a random word. How this is going to work is this random word will inform the title of the screenplay. So it'll either be the title itself or it will inform it. Then we'll do another random word, which is the central conflict of the piece. And then finally, we'll do a third random word, which then, which would then inform that central conflict. I'm gonna find a timer here on my phone. 10 minutes, I have 10 minutes to write a piece. And we'll stop here and there so I can pause and speak with the camera. But here's our random word. <laughs> okay. Hen. Hen. Hen is the title of this piece. It's Hen, the Isaiah Zavian Zavian Boozer version. Hen. It's called Hen. That is the title of this piece. We're gonna scroll down. Yeah. Okay. We have our first word with the title of the piece is hen, and my brain is already starting thinking of a farm and a ranch and just yes. We have number words one, word type all, first letter can't say. Okay, hen is the first, hen is the title of this piece. All right, so now we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into the second word, which is in form <laughs> the central conflict of this piece. Let's see what that is. Peasant, 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 oh, peasant, okay. That is the central conflict. So we have the title is hen, we have peasant, and we have a third word. This third word can either be the greatest gift on the planet Earth, or it could be the worst possible thing that could happen in this moment. Mirror, okay, okay, hen, Peasant mirror. That's what we have. We have hen, peasant, mirror. So the title of the piece is hen. Is a female bird, especially of a domestic fowl. Domestic fowls of either sex. What does the term hen mean? A female chicken. A female chicken. Okay. And then we have peasant. So it's titled hen. We have peasant and we have mirror. Right off the bat, just to dive in, my brain is going to a farm or some sort, of, some sort of rant or some sort of stable where someone intrudes, a peasant intrudes, and something happens with a mirror. I don't know though. So, uh, hen symbolism. What's the symbolism of a hen? Chickens are livestock and represent prosperity and abundance. To encounter a large group implies that a good harvest lies in your future. A hen, especially with eggs or chicks, is a very positive omen of fertility. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're, we're, going, to, we're gonna use that. We're going to use this. I love doing this type of research for symbolism. So to encounter a group of hen, 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 is a good sign. A sign of good luck, fertility, prosperity, and abundance. So now we just have to dive in. So, oh, so first I wanna say, yes, the title is hen. We're gonna go with that because we have to. Peasant, I don't know where that's gonna go. Mirror, am I gonna, mirror can be anything. Mirror can be reflection. Do I have to use the word mirror in it? Or does a mirror have to appear? I have no idea. But what I do know is, we're about to go, we're about to dive into this thing. So I have 10 minutes. The title of this piece is Hen. It doesn't have to do with the chicken, but it can, but that's immediately where my mind went. We have peasant and we have mirror. I have a 10 minute timer I'm about to start right now, you definitely can't see that, but just, there we go. I have a 10 minute timer about to start right now, and uh, we're gonna dive in three, two, one, go. 10 minutes.
old and a red barn old and and or just just ancient and lonely okay we're using a lot of loneliness here i'm getting getting a, a, a feeling of loneliness shot usually you might not do this in an actual writing but just for this exercise we're going to say establishing shot okay red barn agent lonely pause I'm at a minute and 30 seconds, and this is what I have so far. Exterior, farm stable. What does that mean? Wait, what is what is a farm stable? What did I just write? I'm gonna dive in. So, so far what I've written is exterior, farm, stable, night. Establishing shot, desolate and lonely ranch. So what I probably want to do is actually say exterior, ranch, night, establishing shot. Green grass cannot be seen by the lonely moon in the sky that casts down a harsh glow making the grass gray and dark, a red barn, ancient and lonely. And then we could go into the barn and continue. So, I don't know where this is going, but we will definitely see. Here we go. Say interior barn continues. Don't know if I'm spelling that right, but it's fine. Uh, hands, <laughs> uh, lights are Deteriorating lights. Deteriorating lights. Um, uh, we creep into the gated area with the, with the hands. With the hands. As we approach, they wrap. Squeal, it's fine. They cry, sleep, cry. They rapidly cry, and they rapidly cry, and um, ah, uh, shoot. They rapidly cry, and 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 uh, and like, what's the word I'm looking for? Scramble for room. Foot, footsteps. Footsteps. Uh, as we approach, they rapidly cry and scramble for room for such ones as creep to them. A hand reaches into frame. Y'all can tell I'm also a director because I've already seen how a hand reaches, reaches into frame. Ooh, no, 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 no. A, a hand encased in. Five minutes and 16 seconds left. Whew, so, so far, what I've gotten to is a hen is now dead. <laughs> a chicken has been murdered. By who? I don't know, maybe this peasant. I d That's the thing, is that we have this peasant, we have this hen, we have this mirror. And I think I know where I'm going now because we see this black glove reaching down. We have this pet this 
peasant. What does that even mean, being a peasant? Well, being meaning someone has to have higher status and someone had to cast onto you peasantry. So maybe we play with status a little bit in this moment. Maybe we have another character come in. Maybe the owner of this barn come in or maybe these hens are, because I have an idea. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here's, okay. We're just gonna dive back in. I have a few more minutes. And go. Okay. Uh, a walk in the exit of the barn of the barn a sound. Oh my god, three minutes. Wow, typing is such a uh. So what, I'm what I've done so far, at least what I'm trying to do so far, is build up this suspense. We have no idea who this person is. We have no idea what this thing is. We, we see this establishing shot of this ranch, go into this barn. We're slowly creeping in low to the ground. We see these chickens or hens start to scramble to get, they don't know who this is. We see this hand reaching down, pulling up this hen, a blade. You see this chicken or hen drop to the ground. They're dead. The hand already had, oh, wow. That's interesting. The hand already had blood on it, meaning they've already killed. What is it? Because <laughs> it's so bad. What I, the, where I was about to go with the story was they're headed to the home to murder. But what if they've already done the murder there? Now I just have to figure out, figure out why they're a peasant. Oh, maybe something is named peasant. Um, or maybe, because peasant is the central conflict. Oh, okay, so peasant is the central conflict. That doesn't have to mean they're the peasant, but maybe that has been casted on to them. And, yeah, I think that's what it is. Because they've been, maybe we're in a dystopian society somewhere, I'm not sure. But if peasantry is the central conflict, being lower than the people who are higher, being in a lower status, than the ones in power, then peasantry, that is the central conflict. Them wanting power is the central I think that's where I'm going with this. I just don't know why they had to kill a hen. Maybe it, it's, the, it's the sign of fertility and prosperity. So you're cutting that off, you're ending that. Um, maybe they do go to the home. I have what, three minutes, 15 seconds left? In other iterations of this that I've seen online, they actually have more time, but I literally want to end this scene in three minutes and 15 seconds, and I believe that I can do it. I just have to delete this repeated word and away and away. Okay, no, 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 okay. If they already had blood on their hand, whose blood is that? Maybe they, okay. 
They are, okay, maybe they thought someone died. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Three, two, one. Resume. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Continue. Oh my god, I never even I never even said cut. Uh, I never even said cut to. Let's just add that. Let's just add that. Let's just add that. Let's just add that now. Uh, let's say cut to. Let's say cut to moments later. Uh, exterior ranch. continuous to the home now. Oh no. A dead body rests on the porch. Bloody. Past its smoke of lights, walking past it and the home. Wow. Walk to a car. Call them person. This is what you get. So you get. I'm gonna call them mirror. Call them mirror. Actually, they don't speak. They don't speak. Mirror reaches into their pocket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Wow, there is a lot to hear that has to absolutely change and shift. But in 10 minutes, coming up with an entire new world It's like, it's actually, it's, it's all right. I think, I mean, there's, there, what we have here is on paper, of course, this is, this is a very quick, quick read, but in the process of, <laughs> if this would actually be filmed, we have exterior, ranch, night, establishing shop, desolate and lonely ranch. It's alone in the middle of nowhere. Green grass cannot be seen by the lonely moon in the sky that casts down a harsh glow, making the grass gray and dark. A red barn, ancient and lonely. I thought loneliness was going to play into this, but it's fine. Cut to interior barn, continuous. Lights are on, they flicker. Hands rush through the gated area within this barn. We can hear the sound of these deteriorating lights. We creep into the gated area with the hens as we approach. They rapidly cry and scramble for room. Footsteps follow as we creep into them. A hand encased in a black glove with blood reaches into frame and snatches a hen. A sound, a blade. Blood drips, the hen falls into the ground, dead. Footsteps leave, we follow them, tracking on them as they walk near the exit of the barn. They stop, they motion, we rise up. All black is what they wear, tight but also domineering clothing. Their face 
is a mirror, or at least their face is covered by one. They exit the bar and cut to exterior ranch continuous. They walk through the low shredded grass towards a home, not too, that's what it's, not, not too far away. The lights are on, they continue. Cut to, moments later, exterior ranch continuous. They are outside of this home now. A dead body rests on the porch, bloody. They are walking past it and the home. It's small, the lights are on. However, they walk to a car. A body jolts at them and takes them to the ground. They fight. Not sure who this body is. It's probably most likely the, it's the body that was on the porch that you thought was a dead body. Fight, blood, struggle, pain, remorse, shouting. This is what you get. Mirror, Miro, that's interesting. Mirror reaches into their pocket and they stab the person. They die. Mirror rises. Who's the peasant now? Mirror walks black. So we have a little bit of story here. Mira says, who's the peasant now? Who's the low life now? Mira, if we look at this ranch, meaning if the house is small, actually the house going back now, I would have probably made the house larger. Make the house like a mansion on this ranch so that when they're murdered, who's the peasant now has more of an impact than a small home. But this was very, very fun. I am let's go back to the top actually this is hen the isaiah zavian boozer version this was fun just diving into a random world with the purse but that's also that'd be a sickening shot while because that that the, that moment in the scene where the person dies of course it'd be more of a struggle the knife going in but because of time sake had to that'd be interesting if we got a shot of the per of, of mirror's face, the mirror, but all we see is the other person on the other end struggling as the knife is about to insert. That's just, the, that's like, you see your, you see death in yourself. You, you're looking at death in the eye and death is you and you are death all the same. Thank you so much for watching. This was very, very fun. I had a fun time uh, writing it. It was stressful at the moment, but you know, and uh, I hope to do more videos and content like this in the future to the healing, to the healers, and to the healed. All these things I say as I send you on your way.